Hello, everybody. God bless you. I hope you're enjoying these mentoring moments with Judy Jacobs. And we're talking about 10 ways to gain knowledge and answers. Knowledge and answers. I don't know about you, but I love answers. <laughs> Somebody just please give me the answer. And that's what we're talking about. How can you get knowledge and answers? We've talked about uh, searching the scriptures, paying attention, observing the life that's around you, heeding good advice, getting some people around you, surround yourself with, with people of like faith, like spirit, like destiny, like anointing. Then pray in the spirit and pray with the understanding also. And then today, this is going to be so cool. Listen to the wisdom of children. Yes, I said that. Listen to the wisdom of young children. Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 6 says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion and the fatland together. And here it is. Watch this. And a little child shall lead them. A little child shall lead them. The Bible says that Jesus said, Do you want to know what the kingdom looks like? And the Bible says he set down a child in the midst of them. He says, whoever comes to me must come as a child. Not childish, but childlike faith is what God honors. Listen to the, to the, the version of the Passion Translation in Psalm 8. You have built a stronghold by the songs of babies. Strength rises up with the chorus of singing children. This kind of praise has the power, you know, you're going to shout on this one. This kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth. Childlike worship, childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. If you want to get the devil mad, you get some children around you worshiping and praising God from the top of their lungs. Let me tell you something. Many, many times God has spoken through our children. I remember really one time we were preparing for our Pursuit Women's Conference. And I was in prayer and fasting and as my, my husband and I were preparing and seeking the Lord. And Kaylee was probably maybe four years old. She might have been four. She's probably more like three. And she would speak often. The Holy Spirit would just give her often many words and we would take heed to it. And I remember one time... She said to me, Mom, you're not going to believe who's going to be at the, at the Pursuit Women's Conference. And I said, who, sweetheart? She says, all of the family. And I thought to myself, yeah, I know. Yeah, my sisters, my, some of my aunts. I said, you mean cousin so-and-so and aunt so-and-so? She says, no, Mom, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and angels are going to be there. And lives are going to be changed. Little did I know that God was using that little girl many, many years ago to prophesy what was going to happen at a women's conference where thousands of women were coming together in Nashville, Tennessee. And let me tell you something. You observe your children because God will speak through those little mouths. He says through those little mouths, watch this, he has ordained praise, the King James Version says. He uses the praises of those babies to shut the mouth of the enemy in your life. You want to hear from God? You get your little babies around. You get some worship music going. You get those little kids around. Get them and go to your, their Sunday school class and listen to what God will speak and how God will use those little voices to speak to you. You will need some answers. You need some knowledge. You need some prayers answered. You need to know what to do next. Listen to the children. Listen to the wisdom of the young children, and God will speak. I believe he's speaking to you today. Don't fret. Don't worry. Don't let worry come in. You enjoy your family. You enjoy your children. You enjoy your life. Give it to God. He knows what tomorrow holds. You know why? He's already in, too, your tomorrow. He holds it in the palm of his hand. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.
I'm so glad that you've joined me today for Mentoring Moments. Just a little snippet, just to get you over, get you to another place in God. And I've enjoyed coming to you today. And if you've enjoyed it, I want you to go to judyjacobs.com and subscribe to be a part of our email. And I believe these little snippets every single day are going to take you to a higher level and a deeper depth. Come on, come on this journey with me and let's travel together and see what God's going to say to us. God bless.